Hello, now, scam is our word for the day, and four days ago, I show speed streamed in the Philippines, and in classic Filipino fashion, he received a ton of support, I mean a ton, and it went crazy in his two days of streaming. From speed getting his ankles wrecked, <laughs> Speed showing signs of his stink allegations. Here's Speed touching a bald man's head. I hope that's not Ali Coca, because that head will stain Speed's hand with narcissistic scum. Here's his face after saying Kantutin Moko to the rider, which is translated to fuck me. So he literally said to the rider to fuck him. Then he got called the N-word out of nowhere. And finally getting the I show meat reenactment play done in his face. What the f Yo, Philippines is crazy. Look at this crazy ass motherfucker. Damn! What the hell? What is this nigga on? Yo, no, what is he about to say? I mean, damn! I swear that kid watched the I Show Meat incident live, and he's just one wrong decision away from pulling his freaking hot dog out in front of speed. And even though the streams are crazy, you're not really getting the full Philippine experience without experiencing some kind of scam before flying out. And well, even if I Show Speed only streamed in the Philippines for two days, and even though he's surrounded by security, he still got the short stick and got swindled somehow. And who's the perpetrator, you may ask? Now allow me to introduce to you... This asshole, Tailboy, aka Boy Buntot. And he's been dubbed that name because in the earlier part of the stream, I think like 30 minutes into Speed's stream, he's already morphed into Speed's tail, firmly plugged into Speed's asshole, and followed him wherever he goes, almost ending the stream with him. And at first, it started off with him being just like a tour guide of some sort, even thought speed some classic Filipino words. Mahagitar? Yes, it say I love you. Mahagitar. Mahagitar? Yes, Mahagitar. Mahagitar. But if you can say I miss you, say tang ina mo. Tang tang ino. Tang tang ina ina mo. Mo. Yeah, that's say I, I miss you. Tang ina mo. Now, if some of you don't know what he actually taught speed, the word tang ina mo is definitely not I miss you. It's a short form of a curse word, putang ina mo, and translated as you son of a bitch. <laughs> I mean, imagine Speed saying in a post that he misses the Philippines and went on saying Tanginamo Philippines. And the other word is Gagoka, and the douchebag went on and saying that that's another form of I love you, but no, it's not, that's not the case. It means you're stupid but in a not nice way. And Boy Buntot is also the one responsible for this iconic Meow Meow clip. Philippines 101 again, so for those of you who don't know Shao Pao, it's a classic Philippine dish derived from China. It's a steamed bun that can be filled with various things like chicken, pork, or beef. And it can also be made as a dessert, just fill it up with sweet bean paste or chocolate and you're good to go. I mean, the filling has a wide variety, but we certainly don't put cats there. We're not those Haitian immigrants that allegedly ate a pet cat. Like, we're not savages, goddamn. Now, you may be thinking, why shit on him? He only made Speedstream more entertaining. Well, some are arguing that the steamed cat bun joke should be corrected after that. Because, of course, most of the people want Speed to actually enjoy Filipino delicacy. But Boy Buntot never clarified that. But good thing someone did let him know a day after. Meow, meow. Hey, hey, hey! No, hey. Where? No, no, no. No, no, no. I didn't eat no meow, meow. I didn't... Oh, oh, yeah. Why does somebody say meow meow though? They making joke. Oh, they making a joke? Hey, I got scared. I thought I really ate a meow meow. But what Boy Buntot did after that initiated the death by Filipino backlash. Because after that, he followed Speed all the way throughout his stream until they ended up trapped inside the Mercedes dealership, I think. Now, this is when Speed got scammed of 3,500 pesos or around $67. Now, I know it's not really a huge amount of money for some, but it's a huge amount for us plebeians. It does like income for six days of work. Oh yeah, bro, hold on, wait, hold on, wait, let me pay. Yo, Henry, give me the money. I gotta pay this dude. Yeah, all of it. Yo, so give it to the drivers too, the one. See that face? Disgusting. 
Now some people say that he made that face like he's about to get that sweet sweet I show meat because he was about to be given some huge doubloons and he was ready to siphon it all. Give some, give some to the drivers too, okay? Okay, I know the other one. Another one. Are they all your friends? Can I trust no, you? No, they don't. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. sure? The one who broke yeah. helmet. No, they no, they no, 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 no. Actually, props to Speed. He has a phenomenal cloud chaser scammer sensor because he called that shit. I'm, 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 I'm gonna give you a little bit. I don't. Two more. We already gave you three. They're at different makes. Two thousand five hundred. You want thirty five hundred? Joe knows them. Joe knows who we're talking about. We sold them. We sold them. All right. Yeah. All right. Bet. Thank you so much, Speed. And he was absolutely right not to trust him for saying that he knows those motorists. That's why Speed gave a smaller amount instead. And that face had the audacity to ask for a hug and a sweet message to Speed, only to turn around and scam his ass. Can I get out, Speed? Can you get a what? Joe what? Joe Speed. You want a hug? Yeah. yeah. Thank you so much, Speed. Thank you. I appreciate you going in your Philippines. There's a lot of people that you make you happy. Thank you, bro. I love you, Speed. Thank you, bro. Thank you so nah, I actually like the Philippines, bro. I love it, bro. I, like, I love the love. So meet Kiel Henry. That's all I'm going to say because he actually got doxxed for this because Filipinos are really into social justice type shit. And to give you an example, this dude from the Wada Wada Festival that disrespected the motorist, he got doxxed and his address got sent tons of fake delivery bookings like flowers for funeral, fast food, and I think even bags of cement. Not really sure about that all cash on delivery like damn filipino internet warriors are sure to ruin their life and kiel stated that he knew the writers they booked but it turned out to be a big lie with one of them saying that they didn't even know the douchebag and he went trending immediately after and deactivated his facebook account because of the immense backlash and the one meme that stood out to the crowd is this one the bro thinks he's the next ray i mean yeah he did follow him all throughout expecting something i guess i don't know but he is a major cringe. And I am personally ashamed of this individual. This is not a good representation of the Philippines. This man is a douchebag filled with scum found on Speed's bathwater. And I will never track that statement unless he apologizes and return the money he stole. And I hope the both sides of his pillows are warm. So to end things off, here's Speed eating a balut with the, the shell. What the? Well, I guess Speed eats his eggs with a the shell then. Well, that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching. Bye.